everyone, and welcome back to the channel where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. So at the end of September of 2023, Zoom released another firmware update for the R20 multi-track recorder. In that firmware update, they moved it up to version 3.3, and they fixed a lot of bugs that had been residing in the R20. If you don't know how to upgrade the firmware, of your R20 unit. I made a video about it. I'll post it in the description below and you can check it out and make it really easy for you to follow along with the instructions to update your Zoom R20 and make sure that it's operating on the most current firmware. So with the firmware update to 3.3, there's, in my opinion, some good things with that and maybe not necessarily bad things, but slightly disappointing things with it. So let's go over some of the good things about what the bug fixes are. Um, one of the bug fixes that they list for version 3.3 is that they fixed some playback errors when using the rhythm loops um, built into the R20. I don't know exactly what bug they are describing here because there's very scant details about it. I can definitely mention that if I've loaded in some rhythm tracks onto the R20, and just drop them in their stereo tracks i start to play back if i try to time stretch those a little bit i've run into some errors where the playback has been inconsistent i don't know if this is the bug that they are talking about with the fix for 3.3 but i'm hoping that with version 3.3 we're getting we're going to get more reliable smoother playback when using the built-in rhythm loops for the r20 the other fixes in version 3.3 all seem to be related to moving stereo and mono tracks around with the touchscreen. So this is one of the advantages of having the R20 and having that nice touchscreen is that you can easily move your tracks around and rearrange your tracks as you are working on your project. I do this frequently. So they mentioned that there are some bugs regarding playback after you move a stereo track into a spot where a mono track was and then move the mono track into an area where the stereo track was. And that's easy to do on the touchscreen. After you do that, occasionally you may run into some kind of playback error where different regions, audio regions are playing incorrectly. You could have things playing at twice the speed or at half time. And the version 3.3 update is supposed to fix some of those inconsistencies with playback. I haven't noticed that um, too much. Maybe once or twice I noticed some odd things happening. I didn't really chalk it up to moving a stereo track to where a mono track is and vice versa and seeing an error there. Um, I just kind of like hit the stop button, went back to the beginning, moved out of the project, moved back into the project, and that seemed to fix things for me. Um, but again, with the 3.3 update, it seems like Zoom is hopefully fixing some of those playback errors, and hopefully we are getting more consistent, reliable playback and recording when we're using stereo and mono tracks. So I think it's great that Zoom continues to support the R20 after, I don't know, it's been about 20, 21 months since this thing has been on the market. We're getting close to two years, and for a lot of companies out there, they will push out a product. Maybe they support it for six months to a year, give you a firmware update or two as they notice some bugs, and then they kind of leave the device at that and they move on to their next device that they're working on in their R&D department. So I like that Zoom up to about two years now, they are still supporting the R20 clearly, they are pushing firmware updates for it, and they continue to hopefully improve the device. The disappointing part is that there's really no new features. Again, when they had that 3.1 update that I had mentioned a couple months ago, back in July, and now we're moving forward to this end of September, early October update in 2023, no new um, options or features that they're bringing to the R20. Everything was just kind of fixing some bugs that were in the device. I would really like to see Zoom focus on adding some more functionality and features with the markers in particular. So using the markers, it seems like the marker menu has a lot of different options there that are blank spots. They could expand on it, hopefully, with giving us maybe some automated punch in and punch out. Many people had mentioned in the comments that they would love to see a way to designate a point A and a point B 
in your song. So this way that the R20, once it gets to point B, it'll just loop back to point A and continuously play back that loop as you designated your two marker points. You could then workshop out, you know, a guitar solo or whatever it is. I think that would be a fantastic feature. And it seems like something that they could fix with a firmware update, a software update. That seems like maybe something that the processor for the R20 could handle that. Um, I don't know. Obviously, I have no ties to the R&D department of, of Zoom, and I don't know what they're working on. But those are some basic features that I would love to see added to the R20. And it seems like those are things that could be fixed with software. If they did that, that would really improve the functionality for a lot more people who are using the R20 for their recording needs. So overall, I think it's great that Zoom, again, continues to support the product. I just would like to see them not just, you know, fix some bugs, but also give us some new features and options that we've been waiting for with this device. All right, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.